How's it going everybody? We are Cranky Films and today we have another Elden Ring video for you. This one is by Vati Vidya and it is called an Elden Ring movie Age of the Stars. Yeah. Boy do we have one for you because this is an hour and three minutes long but it's going to be all worth it because we absolutely adore Elden Ring and we love these lore videos and we love Vati Vidya. Okay this yes, video has been recommended. Yep. Yes sir and uh <laughs> <laughs> my man yeah it's been recommended and i'm excited like every i'm video. excited good recommendation big race all right yeah this is gonna be a long one so we should probably just get in it yep and just you know play enjoy it it's the effing yes, movie yes sir all right let's get an let's hour start. 30 minutes the first war for leonia was a clash of blue against gold reason against faith the stars against the Erd Tree. Have a tree set mold. The Erd Tree. Champions fought on either side, but none were as great as Renala and Radigan. Yeah. Who somehow put their differences aside. They, they had a family, From brother. This union, That's pretty. Three children were born, each with Radigan's flaming red hair. Rikard, Aww. Radan, and Rani. Rita. The young Radan, oh my god. Of the three, the princess Rani was most favored by the mother. Karia was a matriarchal society, after all, and power would inevitably pass to her. Okay. So, with Renala leading her by the hand, she found her very own moon. Oh. But how did she become blue? Would be eclipsed. By the two You'll find out right now. who spoke for the greater will. They schemed to have the young Empyrean follow their path, a oh. puppet on their strings. Oh. <laughs> two fingers. This is so good. This is so good. And so this they animation. A shadow. Awesome. A half wolf named Blythe. Yes, Blythe. Given to protect yeah. Rani, all in the name of the greater will. We love Blythe. We love the art style. But it was a mistake. Yeah. It's so good, isn't Rani it? Rani and Blythe grew extremely close. Aww. So, Rani grew older with loyal allies by her side. And e thanks to the greater will, she was never alone. Unlike her mother, who would be abandoned by Radigan. Um, no. Really? After this, Renala was no champion. She was destroyed by grief and left with nothing yeah. but Radigan's golden egg. Oh, Meanwhile, yeah. Radigan reforged his Moonlight Greatsword into a great sword of order. Yeah, I do. I should the epic Moonlight Greatsword. Showing <laughs> his true colors as he embraced his other half. The sword was once a gift of betrothal. Oh, wait, so that was originally the Continue. Moonlight. I guess. Damn, that's Suddenly sick. Suddenly bereft of her parents. Rani ventured deep into the woods, and there she found a new mentor, a snowy crone, well versed in witchcraft, who taught the young Rani in the absence of her mother. Okay. In contrast to Rani, Radan grew in admiration of the father. <laughs> Radan grew so big. And I know he did. <laughs> in an unparalleled act of power, he mastered gravity magic and turned against the stars. Oh my god, this guy. Rodan something dude, else, bro. dude. Oh wow. Rikard, on the this other battle hand, was wild. writhed and rankled against order, as did Rani, who would not acquiesce. And yet, her body belonged to the Golden Order, for she was a demigod, perhaps even more than she herself knew. So she devised a plot stealing death and forging it into black blades that could cast away her Empyrean flesh. And so, as order slowly fell apart, she set aside her great rune and left with Blythe and E.G. and was never seen again. Yeah, they gone. Just... They did. Ranala. Oh. That was a sick transition. I know, it's awesome, man. Oh, that's... Oh, yes. 
tarnished, are we? Tarnished. Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at this boy. Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. <laughs> Oh wow! Did anyone lie? This it actually is like a movie. It is. It is like a movie. Oh, e. Oh, oh pure light. Yeah, a lot of death. You die a lot in this game. Oh. I bequeath to you this ring. It will summon a spectral steed. Yo. Yo, it's the cow horse. It's my boy. Thou art of passing. This skill. is so cool. Warrior blood must truly run in thy veins. Tarnished. There's Raj here. Cool. What is that hell? <laughs> All the ends. Alright, wait, before we continue, I just have to pause it. I I, this shit is already outstanding. Yeah, yeah it is. At FN5, it is, it's, it's like, phenomenal. They were alive with this, an Elder Ring movie. This shit really does feel like a the whole movie. The beginning was movie. so good, For, yeah, man. It's like, that's the explanation everyone needs and or needed, oh, yeah. and no one even knew that they did. <laughs> I like the, the art so, style, the way that was edited. Oh my oh, god, I love this. This is FN top tier, and I we're. I hope we see more of that. Oh yeah, we probably will. I mean, we're only five minutes in. It's an hour-long thing. It's so cool, and the the way they had their own like original stuff in it, like yeah. art, and then seeing Baby yeah. Radon was wild. Yeah, because you would, you, you would think it would come out like six foot or something. My become man that is big. massive in the game. Six foot—that's an understatement. Have you, dude, dude, you got to see that big dog yeah, in see. the game. You got to see it in game, man. He's massive. I, honestly, I even I never actually played the game. I literally just did the the. I think I completed the tutorial. The tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Anyways, uh, but this is making probably... me wish I should have played it more. No, you play it. We we'll play it. We'll, you definitely play it. I help you if you need help. <laughs> Thank well, you. Yes. Yeah, Evan. Sorry for the pause, but yeah, I just had to get it over. That this shit, it's crazy, and we might pause again a little bit more oh, yeah. throughout the thing. So yeah, let's get it. Always a pleasure. Care to purchase anything? Of course, him. The howl of a wolf. My boy Sandwood. I suppose he must still be skulking about. I know. Why not meet him for yourself? Next time you hear scratcher. the wolf's howl, make this signal right under the source. Ah, oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. So we're doing Ronnie's quest. Again. And you're desperate for your first quest. That howl has not stopped. What is that? Since a bear? Set foot here. That's a rune yeah, bear. It's a it rune comes bear. from a rare high point in the Mistwood. One that peeks over its treetops. Here you can find the half wolf named Blythe. Oh. It's as if he's looking for something as if he's in need of information. So you can get his attention with the same signal that he and Kale must have set up to do trade. Kale sent you, did he? Ever the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrowell. He fled somewhere nearby, or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. My man, it's so tall. I can offer you ample Oh, yeah. Reward. Yeah, so tall. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor, and in need of a fitting end to his tale. Darrowell is a bloodhound knight, a uh -huh. sect of fighters who were trained as hunters and trackers. These beastly knights never speak, but they choose their own master and are supposed to be loyal to them for life. Even Renala had such an oath-sworn beast in her employ. And she also had Blythe, who is yet another half-wolven warrior who is defined by his loyalty. Perhaps it's for this reason that Blythe takes Darrowill's treachery so personally. Yeah. Just a homie. Darrowill. Rotting in a cell is no true justice. No. 
This is where it ends for you. Yeah, beat him up. Get the bloodhound. Oh, bad. Jesus. Those knights are so big. I know. Oh, we got broken. <laughs> wow. I know, man. <sighs> right. There you are. Not to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. He's so tall. Here's your prize. Oh, yes. I should say. If you venture north to Rayo Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, tell him I sent you. And he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. That's enough chit chat for now. It's time we parted ways. So I like good. his vibes. You know, of course. Yeah. The, the yeah. way it's no, like cinematics is done, like that. Traitorous acts. But we do know that Bly this, is like, obsessed it's so cool. with loyalty, and here, perhaps, he is projecting his expectations of loyalty upon another. Ah, then you met Blythe, did you? Wonderful. <laughs> I'm glad I pointed you in his direction. He's boorish, blunt and couldn't find his nose with both hands. But he's a good egg. <sighs> I think the two of you are sure to find the best in one another. After this, word of your exploits begins to spread, and the Church of Ella is engulfed by a strange sleep mist. Yeah. Oh. This way, Tarnished. There she is. Yeah, the homegirl. I have a word. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished yeah. hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, oh, wow. the talk I, I surmise know. is of thee. He's so cool, man. The oh, no. possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee. By Torrent's former master. Tis a bell of calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly. Oh. As they recall battles past. Now it is thine. To do with as thou wishest. Forgive mine intrusion tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. So good. I'm How long will it fine. be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? The two fingers. So, long ago, great champions would gather at the round table and listen to the fingers, for they are envoys to the greater will and the greater will is widely regarded as the ultimate power in the universe. So the two fingers speak with its language of light, but they are far from benevolent. And it was the two fingers that forsook the tarnished long ago when their grace was lost, only to welcome them back upon the shattering oh, of really? the golden ring. Now they are wizened, trembling, and bent with age. Yet still, they shepherd members of the round table hold, sharing incantations of light and warmth, but also shadows and silence. Oh, they that's have no, high hopes no. for the tarnished, no. that even should they be right. wounded, even I got should invaded. fall, that they will continue to fight for their duty. <laughs> but so well made. many suspect I know. that the fingers are corrupted, broken, their guidance skewed. For now, Grace leads you to Leonia, known for its vast forests and ever-present fog. In its north stands the Academy of Raya Lucaria. In the east, there is a high road that runs north to south, and the western coast has always been closely associated with Carrion royalty, some of whom remain to this day. It's the homie. This is that Egypt, boy. the Carrion blacksmith that Blythe sent you to find. Blythe actually did that. 
did he? Quite a rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. At any rate, if you're friendly with Blythe, I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. Long ago, trolls like E.G. swore an oath to Queen Renala of Caria and were eventually called into service to fight in her war against the Golden Order. Oh, eventually, wow. Caria yeah, and tough to Brian kill. Caria <laughs> would join with the Golden Order, only for Radigan to oh. abandon Renala and then leave Leonia in this state of civil strife. But again, that was long ago. Brave tarnished. Uh, imagine those guys at war. Tano. This territory once belonged to the Carian royal family. Their manor lies not far beyond this point. When the Rhea Lucaria Academy turned on the Carians, the Knights of the Cuckoo descended on this tract. After leveling it, they carried on to the manor. The Carians were taken off guard. So but their strength good. had not waned, and they repelled the knight's onslaught by conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. Oh, that is why so I cool. say, Tarnished, don't go near the manor unless you wish to lie with the corpses of the heedless knights of the Cuckoo. Wow. Uh, this, this is no good place to deposit. Right. <laughs> this, yeah. This is absolutely no good place to deposit. So I'm sorry if you paused in between stuff. But man, this, I'll buy it on like a DVD disc. This is how good it is, man. It is, and yeah, it's pretty good. It is good. And they're it doing really all is. this in game, with the in-game stuff yeah. too. So the yeah, the cinematography on here is crazy. Yeah, good. all the angles and stuff they have to get and. Yeah. The, all the all the amount of takes I imagine they have to take. Oh, yeah, yes. different mods they use to like you know probably spawn in some uh, mobs like for that last scene. Probably, oh, yeah. this, this is so damn good. I'm uh, this this is such cra crazy quality. Yeah. Oh I, my god. I also I, agree. I, just, I just, man, this is so good. I'm sorry. Just just continue. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! I know that place. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, dude. Yeah, effing death. Oh, <laughs> instant death. Death at every turn, then. There's that sword, bro. Oh! Amidst Carrier's enemies and treasure, the knights oh, of the Cuckoo God. live on <laughs> as puppets who are forced now to fight for the Carrions that they once tried so hard. To destroy. That sucks. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps you'd be better off exploring Raya Lucaria, the academy that closed its doors to the world. After the shattering, the academy wisely declared that it wouldn't interfere and locked its gates. So it is that even now it's filled with scholars, or at least. It was. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, do we The sorcerers yeah. dedicated themselves to glintstone <laughs> research, and they venerated many masters. And their headmaster was Renala. Who was also the dog, queen bro. of Caria. But Renala disgraced herself by falling for Radigan. There he who is. <laughs> left her witless and inane. So now there is this limited Carian presence in Raya Lucaria, except for a few loyalists who defend the Grand Library. <laughs> yeah, oh, parry him. It is here that Renala remains, locked away with the great rune of the unborn. Who's that? <laughs> oh, that's scary. I love those guys. I'm just saying. They're so creepy. <laughs> they really are creepy. Hush. There she is. Calver. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. Uh, her face looks pretty though. I know. Uh, she is pretty. I never knew what that uh, egg she was holding was till I said it earlier. Oh my god. Children born anew by Renala are all frail. 
short-lived, and Radigan's golden protection can only last so long. Renala's <laughs> true defense Christ. lies in the golden egg, which is enchanted with a snare. It's a spell that conjures a version of Renala at the height of her power. Something Queen, stand designed up. by the daughter to She's protect injured. the mother. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. <laughs> Foul trespasser. The real boss fight. Send word far and wide of the last queen of Caria, Renala of the full moon, and the majesty of the night she conjureth. Bro, this fight is so easy, bro, if you if you got ranged magic. <laughs> I managed guarding through it though. If you don't, I managed guarding through it. Yeah, this fight is so tough sometimes for me at least. Yeah, I mean when you first see that moon move, it looks so cool. Yeah, it does. Yeah. In this battle, Renala oh. is defended by her oath-bound beasts, giants, and dragons that had partnered with her over her long age of wandering the lands between. For she was there at the beginning of it all. Look at that. I just love he's using all these different spells. Oh, I know it's oh, sick. Little Rani, my dear daughter, weave thy night into being. Dude, that first person shot was heat, though. This was merely I a can't... fight against a conjured spirit. I can't and help yet, but feel sad for her. Those final though. words seem real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Why is it sad? I'm gonna cry. No. No. <laughs> bro, she cool, bro. She good, bro. Uh, yeah, I mean, husband left her. <laughs> her power. She went crazy, started making a bunch of these little children that can't live forever. Mm -hmm. And we, we just murdered her. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it feels bad. She lived a tough life, but everybody else had a tough life, too. <laughs> oh my god, don't... <laughs> yeah, you get it. Towers that are defended by Adula, who is Rani's oath-sworn dragon. Adula was once a devourer of sorcerers, until she was bested by Rani. Oh, wow! Subsequently, she swore a nightly oath to her dark moon. She flees before we can defeat her, but we'll see her again before the end. For now, we're granted access to Rani's rise. Oh, again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No reason in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago. And search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? Mm. I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is in my service a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the eternal yeah. city. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Hmm. Ah. Long time, friend. Blythe. If you've forgotten, glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave, 
The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. Don't keep me waiting, eh? Yeah, cool. this is so good. So they use astro projection sort of thing to... Yeah. Oh. And so you go down deep below the earth to an ancient civilization that predates any others that are found on the surface. Here, ancestral followers and clay men persist well outside the purview of the Erd Tree. But huh. built amidst these ancient ruins is a newer, still ancient city, Nokron, an eternal city where people of the night were banished to long ago. It's so pretty, man. Oh, no. The city's so cool. On. In Egypt, wow, Blythe, look at that, I Rani, know. And now, so yeah, when you're you... first seen the game, it looks so crazy. Ah, oh. that boy. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah. Apologies, mate, but I don't have much to report. I can see bloody noise right above me, but I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways to no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. Yeah. I just. Yeah. I wouldn't go that far. Besides, uh, why not? If you check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? Yeah. Nice partnership and so you go to confront Celevis. Celevis was once a preceptor a That's teacher Celibus, of magic bro. who served <laughs> the Carrion royals when Radigan married Renala these preceptors were ordered to don masks of confidence it was the turtle pope. mouths stitched shut with gold thread to make it clear that all their matters were to be kept strictly private because Radigan was hiding a secret and that secret was that, of course, Radigan was also Marika. <laughs> and Celebus oh, yes. also has many secrets of his own. Yes. Okay, wow. yeah. Okay. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you. But since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady... I love her so much, I, I had to. I am preceptor in the sorcerous arts. As loathsome as Celevis is, it seems he knows something about Nokron. Hmm. Well, well, you're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. <laughs> Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. Arrogant, ain't he? Oh, yeah. Yes, he so is, he bro. 100. He's something else, Nokron. bro. But he does know someone who might. Selen was expelled from Raya Lucaria for her research into the primeval current. And among other things, these dark arts taught Selen how to slice open her heart and imbue a primal glintstone with her soul. Oh, wow. When, when you the best Selen spell, is still in hiding, but you eventually... <laughs> it is the down. best spell, bro. <laughs> it's the most useful spell, bro. I always got to get that spell when I when I get a, a, a Glintstone oh, staff. Tarnished are you? I am Jaren, foolish Hello. old warrior and witness. You didn't know Selen, did you? Well, whatever the case, she's dead now. No. It is strange though. The woman, she was like a husk. Her soul already fled. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually in another body. Oh my god. The knight, Jaren, once served the Carrion Royals, 
as a war commander for their general, Radan. I did not know that. Actually, then, he was also familiar with the Carrion Royal Blacksmith, mm. E.G. Well, I haven't heard that name in an age. Then you must serve Princess Rani. The next time you speak to E.G., tell him this. The festival of Radan will surely set Rani's fate back into motion. By the by, is that old fool still hammering out weapons? <laughs> His enormous frame cramped in that little place? Bit of a haughty sort. <laughs> Strange fella when I knew him. And funny thing, his swords were all blunt as stone. But not one of them decayed when faced with a scarlet rot. Jaren shares a long history oh, yeah. with his general, really? Radan. The man preferred a nomadic existence, and yet, before long, he became sworn to Radan, bound by an oath of honorable death. So Jaren was there when Radan conquered the stars, and he remained by his side, even oh, after no. the Scarlet Rot brought the, <laughs> the poor general horse. to his knees, poor horse, for dude. he had an oath to keep, a promise to bring Radan an honorable death, oh, cool. even if it meant releasing the night sky from his grasp. Jaren. Now that's a name I haven't heard for a while. Oh no. Wait. How did I not see it before? I ought to retire as war counselor for such a gross oversight. Let me explain. The fate of the Karian royal family is guided by the stars, as is the fate of Lady Rani. First heir in the Karian royal line. But General Radan is the conqueror of the stars, who stood up mm. to the swirling constellations, halting their movement in a smashing victory. And so, if General Radan were defeated, the stars would once again resume their movement, as would Lady Rani's destiny. So although he has lost his mind to rot, Radan still somehow keeps the stars and Rani's fate in stasis. This is why you need him dead. Hmm. Yeah. So Rani's fate is kept in stasis by Starsgur's Radan. I'll be on my way to this festival of Radan then. You're coming too, right? Haha. <laughs> Sam right. <laughs> I'll meet you at Red Main Castle in Caled. The way ahead is pleasingly <laughs> simple. We fight, sword and fight. This fight, man. It's the uh, oh, really hard one. Oh, oh yeah. It, uh, it's, it's a cool one. <laughs> it's really it's cool. cool one. Ah, it's really cool. There you are. Took your sweet time. I did, bro. I had to. I the plays are all made up. And we see the pot kid. boy. Pot friend. Let's give them a show to remember, eh? That's Just Alexander. don't you go dying on me. Alexander, For yeah. sake, too. Champions. Welcome! Yes. The stars have aligned! The festival is nigh! Oh. General Radan! The savage beast now! The god of the shattering yes. awaits you! Champions! Prepare for battle! Defeat the general! Claim glory! And grab that great rune! A celebration of <laughs> it's war. A too. No. The Radon Festival. Yes. Oh jeez. I love that you could just go around summoning <laughs> just a bunch of people in this fight. It's a festival. That's why. All right. You gotta have the crew. Ooh. That's a crazy fight. The hitboxes out of ring are so good too. And you're gonna play this fight on stream, Zeus. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Alone. Alone? Yes. No. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you hit better not. Gravity. Dodge. Oh my god, man. That poor horse. I know, man, but it's okay. He's weightless. Oh my god. The sword and Man, man's got powers of gravity, big bro. Yeah. I wonder how he lost his mind. 
Oh, oh Scarlet Rot? Scarlet Rot, yeah. <laughs> that boy! Well played, good sir. My thanks. We to stand, you Mr. Pie. Yeah. Then there's nothing left to say except I am Iron Fist Alexander. <laughs> no, Alexander! Iron Fist no. Alexander, no! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he was not done. I am Iron Fist Alex. He gets collapsed. Oh man. So it was for us too at first. Say, like, oh, he's gone. All right, GG. <laughs> There's block in it. Love that. I love the block and heavy an hit animation. Oh damn! No, I uh, never thought about using that. I haven't either. Oh wait, the moon spell? Yeah. Oh wow! It's kind of wow. a slap in the face. We can't really be certain why Radan was holding back the stars. Was it to defend his home? Or was it on behalf of the Golden Order? Or did he simply have something to prove? Whatever the case, with his death, Rani's fate is immediately freed from stasis, and yes. a falling star tears through the earth in Limgrave, opening a direct path for her and you to Nokrom. How? Oh. Ah, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? The glory yeah. of the clash is shared by Radan and you. And <laughs> did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our yeah, Radan's so powerful. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something oh, of that dang. scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. I wish there was more for Radan. But Rani's fate will yeah. be decided. The like there was something else we could have done. With you. Yeah. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Mistress Rani. Yeah. What's up, EG? What you want? Uh, EG. Oh, my man, cool, bro. You know he's like the come. main character. <laughs> All the giants are. <laughs> he's just always there. You've defeated General Radan. Yes, Unlocking sir. the stars. So pretty. There is no parallel to your achievement. Oh. No to Lady Rani's acute judgment of character. Thanks to you. Lady Rani's fate once again stirs. Praise the stars? <laughs> oh, Blythe wanted me to tell you. Blythe! Not to bother waiting for him. And head straight to Nokron. Blythe has been given okay. an important task. Blythe went Apparently, to Starbucks. A matter oh, of great urgency. You need not await, Blythe. Descend underground alone, where the fallen star struck Limgrave, and make it yours. What? The precious treasure of Nokron. Nokron. So that Lady Rani may tread the dark path of the Empyrean. And so, you scramble through the debris left by a falling star, and finally make your way towards Nokron. This is one of three eternal cities, to where a race called the Nox were banished long ago. For, somehow, they had invoked the ire of the Greater Will, and the Nox were forbidden from returning to its surface. We oh. don't know exactly what they did to deserve <laughs> yeah. this eternal entombment, but it probably had to do with a weapon. <laughs> the treasure of Nokron, a Finger Slayer blade, born of a corpse and drenched in blood and said to be capable of harming the greater will and its vassals. Yeah, I remember her, bro. So it was I know. that the Nox oh. became nothing more than another civilization that had lost its fate. And we walked up sharing to her and we died. ruins with silver tears, yeah. listless treasure hunters, and the songs of the ancestral followers. This is Nokron. Outer Ring oh, has such a beautiful world. It's stunning, and the music. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, goodness. dude. It looks like a galaxy or something. Yeah, I know. Oh, dude, this is crazy, man. 
Rest in peace, gentlemen. See that big guy? <laughs> yeah. Poor people. But now that Radan's death has freed the fate in the night sky, we are able to discover Nokron's treasure. This is what Blythe was sent to find, yet we are the ones to claim it, so that Rani can finally usher in the stars and bring about her age of night. Ah, it was thee, not Blythe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. But before I leave, I must entrust thee with this. Take it. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. My discarded flesh lieth beyond the seal unlocked by it. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I want to talk about Rani's dark path. She had to do some pretty terrible things to get here. For example, she stole Destin's death and sacrificed no. her own corporeal flesh to rid herself yeah. of the hold that the fingers had over her. Oh, and to her, this was right. necessary in order to rid the world of all that came before and upend the whole of it. Bang. But her sacrifice wasn't all that was required. For Destin's death demanded a body and a soul. Yeah. So another demigod upside down. was very carefully yeah. selected, and she chose Godwin the Golden. By killing him, Rani could, at once, shed her body and strike a terrible blow to the Golden <laughs> Order as well, ridding them of Godwin the Golden, who was probably the very best of them. We all know what Is happens lightning to Godwin, ice spells? so you have to ask, does Rani's end justify the means? I am certain now. Fate steered us to our first yeah. encounter. I must so thank her. Torrent too for yeah. his part. Yeah. It was tall too. Oh, nice. Ooh, there you I know, right? Are. I think they were all tall. Her to mom. Drop by. Yeah, ready on. We just a small race. Lady Rani has departed on her journey along the dark path of the Empyrean from Rena's rise, as she calls it. It would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor, and moreover, her childhood warden, <laughs> I express my deepest gratitude. You, and only you, were Lady Rani's true champion. <laughs> but blind. My purpose is Can nearing they get the its item? end. Sure. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well. And to the very end. So we decide to take the portal at Rena's rise. This tower is likely named after the snowy crone that taught Rani her sorcery. Rani modeled her doll after that mentor. And Rani and the doll that she inhabits are busy somewhere on the other side of this portal. <laughs> oh man, wow. this is wild. Which leads to the Ainsel River, which oh, flows man. underneath Leonia, underneath the Moonlight Plateau. Here you find a miniature doll, a tiny replica of Rani that she likely devised so that she could advance unseen in this place. For her two fingers are close, and their baleful shadows are even closer, prowling, oh. looking for trespassers, looking for her. Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. <laughs> it's a, ha it's a Fine. habit. 
I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Oh. So Rani is here, trying to get close to her fingers so that she can kill them and finally finish what she started long ago. Even without Rani's body to puppeteer, her two fingers still command great power. Remember, these are the mouthpieces of the greater will. They conjure great light, and so, naturally, also have the power to cast living shadows. The Baleful okay. Shadows are one such example, and the Shadows of the Empyrean are another. But even the two fingers are capable of erring in their judgment. Let us speak of the past a while. I was once an Empyrean of the demigods. Only I, Mikola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us she was chosen pretty. by our own two fingers. Oh yeah. As a candidate to succeed Queen Marika, to become the new god of the coming age, which is when I received Blythe, in the form of a vassal tailored for an Empyrean. But I would not acquiesce to the two fingers. I stole the rune oh, of slow motion. That was slew sick. my own I know, Empyrean sick. flesh. Casting it away, I would not be controlled by that thing. The two fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since. And the baleful <laughs> shadows are their assassins. Soon, you size up against a baleful shadow, which naturally resembles Blythe. Okay. It's easy to imagine, then, why someone might doubt his loyalty. Hmm. Even when I turned my back upon the two fingers, Blythe remained my loyal ally. <laughs> That's sick scene. Yeah. yeah. Though he was created a vassal for an Empyrean, he was a colossal failure on the part of the two fingers. Blythe and E.G. both art willing to give too much to me. Yet, they both understand what lieth beyond the dark path that I must betray everything and rid the world of what came before. Ah, should I add thee to the list? Another one, Please kind of heart. Add me. As kind of heart as they. Yes. Ah, this form hath loosened my tongue. I've let slip too much. Forget what thou's heard. <laughs> Forget. Perhaps I can't. the baleful shadows are what the fingers think Blythe should have been. Red phantoms, without Blythe's great sword of frost and with blades of destined death. Okay, so that's not Blythe, instead, then. just the a tool mimic. that only the agents of order have any right to wield. Now. I know, bro. I was scared when I did this. Yeah. I thought I killed the boy Blythe, bro. Oh my god. I was. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that's boring. God, my man can fight. Oh my god, dude, all the, like I said, the way he fights is cool. Yeah. This, the, this MC. Oh. Jeez. Oh, Shadow. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers. That Rani the witch cometh to rend thy flesh oh, with a cool. fateful wound, ne'er to heal. Beautifully fought. My thanks. Twas more of a challenge than I envisioned. Now I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Blythe and E.G. I love them. Oh. <laughs> oh man, this. This whole time, Blythe couldn't be at Rani's side, fighting on her behalf. So, you had to be 
instead. E.G. led you to believe that Blythe was sent away on more important matters. But what could be more important than this? I know. So you yeah. return to Leonia and confront him on the matter. That is so true. Very yeah, well. it's like, there he serves her. You should know. The two fingers gave Blythe to Lady Rani as a faithful follower. Her very shadow, incapable yeah. of treachery. But if Lady Rani, as an Imperian, resists being an instrument of the two fingers, the they shadow made that will character go really mad. look like Rani, bro. Transforming from a follower into a horrid curse. But such is his destiny. In such matters, Blythe's own thoughts hold no weight. It pains me so. But he must be neutralized. Oh. For Lady Rani's sake. Oh, boy. <laughs> My man. Not Blythe. So E.G. had Blythe locked that away boy in an Everjail in Limgrave. Incidentally, it's the exact same cell that a supposedly traitorous bloodhound once occupied. And now, the half-wolf is here. Imprisoned not no. for any treachery, but to prevent it. Oh, it's you. It's me, Blythe. Old E.G. Hi, Blythe. Me here. Told me I'd bring north but bail to Lady Rani. But there's no chance that could happen. I'm part of a bee. A very shadow. I thought old E.G. knew as much. Honestly, I don't know what's going on anymore. I hate this. My thanks, friend. I'm going to see Mistress Rani now. I don't know what came over old E.G., but even if the odds are slim, I need to check the mistress is safe. Now, Rani can finally set in motion the fight against oh. her fate she's dreamt of for so long. As you can see, Blythe is still in control, That's even good. as the two fingers are nearing their death at the hands of Rani. Yet Blythe remains this living contradiction, forced to be loyal to two parties who are at complete odds with one another. Mm. E.G. believes that this should drive him mad, especially this close yeah, to the end. I would at the think final so. stage yeah. of Rani's ultimate betrayal, but it hasn't. Don't say yet. According to Carrion tradition, <laughs> the princess of Caria is supposed to give a ring and sword to her chosen consort. Oh. But Rani locked away her ring of betrothal in the Grand Library and engraved it with a warning instead, telling you not to take the ring from this place, warning that the solitude beyond the night is better left for her alone. But you ignore her Yikes. and follow doggedly in her path. I thought I might expound a little further upon the order I envision. Mine will be an order not of gold, but the stars and moon of the chill night. I would keep them far from the earth beneath our feet. Okay. As it is now, life and souls and order are bound tightly together. But I would have them at a great remove and have the certainties of sight emotion faith and touch all Just the become this is beautiful yeah, no. which is why i would abandon this soil with mine order <laughs> wouldst thou come to yeah. me even now yeah. i still think bro you die doing that getting in that <laughs> that that coffin and falling <laughs> essentially rani's order would be one that is largely removed from the world the goddess that spearheads it would be unreachable. She would not accept the love of the masses, their worship, their offerings, none of it. This differs greatly from Marika's golden order, which demanded veneration. It wiped out other ideologies, it grafted those it couldn't wipe out onto itself, and gave the world absolute evils to contend with, all with Marika as its figurehead. So to bring about such drastic change, it's no surprise that Rani has to go to extreme lengths. To become her lord, you have to find your own way to the Moonlight Plateau. 
past a malformed star, ring of betrothal in hand, to a place defended by Rani's oath-sworn dragon, the Cathedral of Manus Celis. The word Celis means heavenly, but the word Manus means of the hand. So you learn huh? that oh. it's here that Rani's own heavenly hand had settled. Two fingers that brazenly lurk underneath the cathedral named after them. Two fingers that know there is no weapon that could kill them. Except for the Finger Slayer Blade, the legacy of the eternal city of Nokron, which was finally put to use by Rani herself. No. <laughs> hey, look at it. it's bloody Rani. She disappeared. Oh, there she is. So it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. Oh, this, dude, this might be my moon. favorite quest, bro. Cold yeah. And I love this yeah. so much. Is a beam of its very light. Oh, gifted wow. By a carrion queen upon her spouse to honor long standing tradition. I like that how that boy. So it was you that would become Rani's lord, not Blythe, who was forced to wait while you fulfilled the role of Shadow and consort. With the two fingers dead, something has indeed no. broken in Blythe, but somehow he still remains loyal to Rani. The law states that Blythe would have defied destiny itself if it would have had him turn upon his lady. But Rani was always destined for the dark path. Since there falls no shadow, where there shines no sun, Rani leaves her shadow behind. <laughs> No, I'm part of her very being. I love him so much. I can never betray her. I know. No matter what might I happen. believe it. Oh, is he going crazy? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Christ. Oh, wow. You've been oh, savage. Oh, my God. What in the world? <laughs> Lord. First person view is crazy. Can we play in first person? Yeah. Oh, dude, the angles are so... Dude, dude, the cinematic... Dude, cinematography is insane. How? How do they do this? It's so good. Stop. Please. Ronnie. She needs me. Oh, man. Oh, I'm sad. What a good character, though. I know. What a great character. Maybe one of my favorites in this, in this entire game. Probably my favorite. Next to Ronnie, of course. I'd be sad too, I'd have killed homie. You walked the same path as Blythe for so long, but in the end, only you can go on. Jesus. Poor Blythe. I know. Promise What's up, to bro? look after Blythe for me, will you? The man is honest to a fault. But fortunately, now he has you. Man, don't hit us with the flashbacks like that. Before Blythe's death, 
he was attacked by a group of black knives. It's impossible to know who sent them, or why they acted as they did, but if they've gone after Blythe, then it follows that their next target would be E.G. Unthinkable. No. How could Blythe? How did he break free from his cell? No. More importantly, Blythe became a curse that plagued Lady Rani, yet even in madness, gave himself to her. I've made a grave misjudgment. Yeah. And I thought myself a capable war counselor. I'll catch up with you soon enough, Blythe. When I do, I only oh, the black knife you watching. accept my apology. Bro, bro, he can't go, bro. How oh. are we gonna upgrade our weapons, oh, bro? You must. The... Lady Rani, along the path of darkness. Inevitably, Eiji dies fighting as well. Damn. Destined to catch up with Blythe in death. As you Jeez. escape the consequences and okay. continue along the path to Elden Lord. No, bro. Don't do that. <laughs> right Why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks so good, man. The oh song. My God. Hey, that boy. Not the music. That boy, cool, bro. Ending, the Elden Elden Ring is set aside completely to be eclipsed by the moon as it was long ago, back when fate was still in the night sky. In the age Wait for before Elden the Ring too, bro. Before <laughs> the Elden Ring commanded the stars. They have more to tell, bro. The battle is over, I see. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars, a thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Oh, the moon, dude. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. Into fear, doubt, and loneliness. That's so pretty. As the path stretches into darkness. So, Rani's order will still exist, but it will never again be seen, believed in, or touched by the living. To bring this about, her sacrifice is absolute. She has to leave and never return. But at least, she'll still have you. Oh my god. Well then, shall we? Uh, yes, we shall. Of course. My queen, bro. Man, queen Ronnie, oh bro. They could have been blind, though. Uh, my fair consort eternal. That's so beautiful. Oh my god. Thank you for watching. You know, oh, despite being one of Thank the you for most making it. convoluted oh quest lines that From Software has ever devised, Rani's it's... ending is the most popular ending in Elden yeah. Ring. It speaks to the power that this narrative has that so many of you took the time to have your playthroughs defined by it. And that's why we wanted this Prepare to Cry episode to be the best of all. So, special thanks then to everyone else who made this project what it was. First and foremost, to Miss Pap One who was my project partner, my editor, okay. and capture yeah. artist. Yeah, crazy work. He also work. gave really valuable insight on which parts of my script worked and which didn't, and all of this wouldn't have been what it was without his help. And then there's John Devlin, of course. the artist for Prepare to Cry's awesome visual introductions. <laughs> I know, we man. That set was out to so create good. scenes that players really were good. never able to see in-game, and I think we achieved that goal. John put a monumental amount of effort into this art, and I'm so appreciative of that. 
and yeah, then it was you can Xavier tell. who Sick. brought this art to life, animating it and never complaining, even though I was probably really annoying whenever I invested <laughs> a ton of changes. So huge props yeah. to Xavier. That was a crazy. There was Arcane Bard, who worked on the sound effects and music for this introduction bringing it to a whole new level where the music and sound effects could perfectly match the tone of what's seen on screen. That is so difficult to do, but they nailed yeah. it. Finally, Alex Did a Rowe great job. contributed that was to crazy music job, for yeah. the Nocron scene. He took a few notes of music that the ancestral shamans sing, and he turned it, it into was this so pretty. Yeah, that was a perfect that scene. was just amazing. Perfect music, bro. Perfect art. But finally... Thank you to you guys. Perfect edits. Your views and your support on Patreon or you buying merchandise, all of that just allows me to justify spending a lot of money commissioning the most talented people out there for yeah. these projects. So thank you for enabling all of this. This marks the end of the five main episodes of Yo, Elden Ring Alexander. Cry, yeah, Alexander, dude. We wanted to be really epic in scale because all of these are based around some of the most powerful stories, each corresponding to an ending in the game. There are still more Prepare to Cry videos that we want to make. Oh, I, I hope there are so. definitely more lore videos I want to make, but they'll probably have to wait until I've spent some good time with Armored Core. So, oh, armor core. We get the armor core stuff. Core stuff for a little while. But I'm about to get it I'll soon too. I'll be, I'll be down. down. Thank you again for sticking with me through all of this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Yee. Damn, that, dude, that that was phenomenal, bro. That was a everything crazy was crazy so movie. Well thought out, everything, bro. I love the story. Everything, even the even the little details. The fact that they even made a character, yeah, that was supposed to like represent young like Ronnie, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. And and it was just everything was so sick, well thought out. It was amazing. Everything was phenomenal. Pretty much. This... Oh my. I almost cried at some parts. Almost. Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah, it is called prepared to try not to cry. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. My man, Bly, bro. This is so... This is one outstanding. One of the best characters, bro. He yeah. might even be one of the best characters in general, bro. Yeah, man. Who? Princess Arnie? Bly, no, Bly bro. Bly, oh, Bly. Bly. Yeah. I loved Bly. I'm freaking... I wish there was an ending where... I know. He's, like, he is, left he is, alone. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before he's the one actually doing the stuff that we're doing for Ronnie. Yeah. 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 Even at the yeah. end, he was like still pledging My his man allegiance. Eg, to bro. Him. Yeah, man. Eg. Right here when he went crazy. I couldn't. I couldn't with this. <laughs> I couldn't with this, man. Your fear is coming true. It looks so good though, too. Yeah, oh, dude. All for... the. All the mods they had to use for this was crazy. Yeah, first person playing this in first person has to be crazy. Oh yeah. Oh my god, it'd be impossible, I feel. Because there'd be people behind you, you'd have to dodge. <laughs> like Cody, so go crazy. to the first part where Blythe jumps jumps you. So like right here. Yeah, just first person view on that was like you easily you could easily get jump scared from that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, this this is just outstanding. Like, uh, eventually, you just start, we just started watching this. They're just straight up this engrossed oh, yeah. into this. Yeah, there was I wasn't talking some points. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I, it, it was just well. It was it's like perfect. a tr it's like a true movie. Like you just get so engrossed into it, you just you just watch. Yeah. And oh yeah, dude, dude, that is so gruesome. <laughs> yeah. One man was taking chunks out of you, bro. And yeah. still fighting. Jeez. Oh, oh my man. god! Thanks. So everything about this is crazy, man. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll, I'll I have to buy this, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I am. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. Like I'm so stoked for like other endings. Yeah. For them to just make this again, and in a different ending, a different quest line, a yeah. different story. Basically. Oh my gosh. A different focus to the story. I've only I've only played this story. Like quest line. Yeah, you only did one. The Ronnie one. one. I, yeah. I have not played the others. Yeah. Okay, so that would just be. Ugh. The other ones are good too. Oh good. my god. 
I cannot see that again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look. <laughs> no, that was amazing. That was amazing, and yeah. Ten thank you ten. all for watching, man. Thank you all for watching. If you stuck around for the hour and ten, bros, I appreciate it, all right? Because this is just amazing, an amazing watch, all right? I thought I'd do more thank you all too. for watching, though. Yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, maybe comment and subscribe, maybe ring the bell. And let us know if there's anything else you want us to watch. Want us to check out more of, you know, videos from this guy? Yeah, yeah, Vadi. Sorry, Vadi Vidya. <laughs> Thank you to the recommendation, all right? Because this was, this was a treat. Yes, okay? it was. We've been Cranky Films. Guys, stay cranky. <laughs>